Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, so I got a request to show how I made um, these cute little pinwheels um, using laminated uh, sequin sheets. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that with you guys today. So if you guys remember on my last video, I showed these and they do actually spin around because I used a snap button in the center of the uh, pinwheel which allows for it to move. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, walk through the steps with you guys today. So I did pick up my snap button kit from um, off of Amazon. Um, and I also picked up, cause I'm gonna use a shaped one. I picked up these shaped ones um, from AliExpress, but Amazon do does now have like hearts and stars. Um, I'll link, a, uh, I'll put a link to this snap button kit um, and I'll link that one as well. And if I find a snap button kit that uh, has the stars on Amazon, I'll link that as well. Um, this one only comes with the round snap buttons, which I love this one too, um, but I thought the shapes were fun. So I did pick those up in hearts and stars. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and of course link that in the description box uh, for you guys as well. So let me move some of this stuff out of the way. So I've already pre-laminated my sheet um, and I did some cute little bows in there, which uh, these are ones that I uh, picked up from Michael's um, that you can use in their chunky glitter section. They do have some shaped ones. Now they do have some shaped ones that are actual like plastic in their little pieces as opposed to like little sequins. You don't wanna use the pieces cause I don't even think that would pass through your laminating sheet. Uh, uh, properly. Um, these are super flat, so you can use these. Um, and then, of course, you'll need some straws. So I just took one of my straws out of my little straw bottle. I'm going to use this one today, this little one with the little hearts on it. You will need a pair of scissors and, of course, a snap button. So let me move some of this stuff out of the way and we'll go ahead and uh, do it together. So the measurements for my pinwheel. Um, for this particular project is going to be a four and a half by four and a half. Now, you do not want to make it bigger than this only because when you fold it, you see the size of the snap button tool. It only goes back so far. So it has to, when you, whenever you fold it and get it together, it would ha it can only be this deep into it. Otherwise you won't be able to add the snap button because it can't go past this point. So a four by four or a four and a half by four is probably the largest that you would want to go um, as far as making or creating your snap. So there are no measurements for this. Um, I just freehand cut this with my scissors. So I'm going to show you. So you wanna start at the very corner and cut up to the center. And you're gonna do that all the way around. And don't go too far in because you need that little space in the middle because that's where you're going to uh, add your snap button. So if you kind of see, there's a little like half inch space in between this line and this line. So you're gonna do that all the way around and it's okay if you cut through a sequin, it'll be just fine. And see how it's leaving that little space in the middle if you've never made a pinwheel before. But I tried to space them out so that I wouldn't cut through too many of them, but I mean, it can't be avoided. All right, so you see that there's a little space right here, kind of where my finger is that's where you're gonna adhere your snap button. So the next thing you're gonna do, there's a little poking tool that comes in your snap button kit and they all come with these same kind of tools. It's a little poker, looks just like this. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a hole maybe about a half, of, a half of an inch down on all four tabs. So let's, I'm gonna do the first one And go ahead and press your tool all the way through so that it comes out the other side. Now, you wanna do that on all of the same four corners. So you did one here, so you're gonna turn it 
quarter, do it again here and do that all the way around. Just make sure you don't put two holes in the same triangle. So there's another one, turn it, you're gonna do it here. All right, and then one more. And I'm sorry if I'm off camera. All right, oops, let me grab it and pick it up again. If I can get it. Hold on. All right. So now you have a four a, a, a hole in all four of the corners in the same spot. Now you want to take your pokey tool and you want to create a hole in the center of where all of your points are. So this looks like about the center to me. So I'm going to poke a hole there. So now there's a hole kind of in the center of where all of your lines kind of come together. So now, just for reference, which I don't think I've ever said this, your snap button comes with, now I'm gonna do a star. So these are the top parts that you're gonna see on your project. So this is gonna be on the very top, like this, and then the other one is gonna look like this. So there is kind of, I'll call it an inny in and outy. This is the bottom piece typically, the one that goes in. The one that sticks up is the Audi and usually goes with the top. So this one will go with the star because that's the one that's going to be at the top. This one will go with the rounder piece. Now, if you're using the, the regular uh, snap button kit, you would just have two of these. But this is the in one. This is the out one. So you're going to take your piece that's going to show, which for me is going to be the little star. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna find your hole, your first hole. And you're gonna go ahead and stick that through the hole that you've created. And what you have to do is you're gonna go around in a circle and you're gonna keep threading it. So here's the next one that I'm gonna do. And then you're gonna put, put the flap of that one onto your star and then just keep going around in a circle. This is harder to do on camera than I thought. <laughs> so work with me. All right, and then here's the next one. You're gonna go ahead and thread that through there and push it down onto your snap button. And then your last one, do the same exact thing. Tuck it in there and get your star in to that hole. So now you can see that it's already created this the pinwheel. Now the last thing is you're going to go ahead and push that through, push it down and go ahead and thread it through the hole that you've made in the base. So now it's it's all coming through and I hope I hope I'm not too close. Now you're going to take the piece that goes with that. So again, it's going to be this piece which I call it the Audi piece. And you're going to go ahead and slide that onto there and push that down as much as you can. You can a little bit. Now, you're going to take your snap button tool with the black piece down. This is the part that presses it together. And you're going to have to maneuver it to, and this is a little bit tricky. You're going to have to collapse this a little bit so that it goes into the tool. And then, oops, sorry guys. I told you it's tricky and it's super tricky on camera. <laughs> so, okay. And then you're just gonna kind of maneuver it until you get that piece underneath the rubber part that, you, or, that you're gonna press it with. So, so now it's like that. And then you're just gonna go ahead and give it a press. Let me make sure I'm all lined up. And give it a firm press. And now you have your snap button connected. Now you're gonna do the same exact thing with your straw. You're gonna go ahead and create a hole at the top. I would do it maybe about, what was that, about a half an inch down. And I'm, I'm gonna squeeze mine together a little bit. And then you're gonna create a hole about a half of an inch down, maybe a little, maybe not so high, but 
about a half an inch. And then you're gonna take your pokey tool and you're gonna create a hole with that as well. Then you're gonna go ahead and thread your um, bottom piece of your snap button. Press it down and do the same exact thing. And now you're gonna put in, you know, use your any piece. And you're gonna connect it. Now, um, I don't wanna do it too close to the top, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna cut off a little bit of this straw so it, it doesn't look like it's crazy hanging over as close as you can to that. So it doesn't look like it's hanging over. Uh-oh, these are probably not the best scissors for that, but you get what I'm saying. Cut that as clean as you can. Here, you know what, let's do this. I'm gonna lift that up and then I'm gonna cut a little piece off of there. All right, so now it's, you won't be able to see that little frayed end. All right, and then you're gonna do the same exact thing. Take your little tool, oops, and slide it on in there. And then you're gonna press it down. There's some really cute snap button kits out there. There's a baby pink one. Um, if I can find it, I'll link that one in there. It's all pink, like the pink laminator that I got. So if you guys are interested in that, and it does come with some snaps. Um, okay, so now you have your back piece and you have your um, the pinwheel that you've created and then you just snap it on there and that's it. And that's how you create that. So super easy. So if you guys have any questions, of course, uh, leave me a message in the description box, but it's pretty simple to make and I've never made one that actually moves. So I thought that was really cool. I just tried this, I don't, I don't know. I had some scraps left over uh, when I was making the cards that I did showed in the last video. And I was like, well, let me try it, why not? And how cute is that? So thank you guys so much for stopping by to take a look at my tutorial. I'll link all the, dis uh, the things that we discussed in the description box below. And you guys have a great Wednesday. See you later. Bye, guys.